Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3731 Southeast Main Street here in Portland. We're on the rooftop going through a 3-inch ABS clean-out. I'm sorry, roof vent. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go, and it switched to cast iron pipe there just before hitting the uh, base of the vent. And going off the vent here, it appears that um, the cast iron pipe is also 3 inch. Not entirely for sure there, as so I can't see the transition. I'm going to keep the camera moving quickly. I'm just going to try and get it all the way out, and then uh, we'll drain the line out and reel back slower. Transition there to terracotta clay pipe to six inch. And then here transitions over to PVC pipe. Here at the curb. This is either PVC or it's a liner that's been down. I'm not sure which one here quite yet, but it's been updated. And here at 94 feet out, we have reached the main lateral. We're going to let the line drain out here for a couple minutes before pulling back. In fact, while our line drains out here, we're going to go ahead and reel back. We're going to this this end section here that's been updated uh, is the appears to be the city's end of the line. That we're going to pull back to where the uh, pipe is still original clay. And we'll kind of start from that point there. Because all this updated pipe looks good. And I don't need the water drained out to see that portion of it. And this end section here uh, appears to be a liner. Where they put a liner inside the old pipe and harden it with a, a epoxy resin. And the transitions here, this is from clay to PVC right here at 70 feet. I think what we've got up top there is just some, it looks like some kind of debris. I can't tell if that's from when they did the, uh, I think it's leftover material from when they did the liner, honestly, but it's, it's a really hard one to tell. It could be something else that just dried and stuck up there too. It does appear that here at this particular joint we have a root intrusion. This is the furthest out root that I've seen. So from this point here at 54 feet out to the main lateral, all the pipes in good condition, functioning properly. And on the way out it looked like too, even with the roots in there, the line still has proper flow through it. I mean it's not like the roots couldn't block the line, but the pipe itself hasn't shifted causing standing water or anything like that. Which is ideal because it leaves you the, the option of doing a pipe liner like we saw up ahead. You don't necessarily have to dig this stuff up, uh, but sometimes it's you have to look into the cost difference between digging and doing a liner. I am going to stop here and mark this. I'll mark all the, the pipe here with roots with white paint. Yeah, look at the camera head successfully. I'm picking it up only about six inches before the sidewalk starts. It's in kind of a tricky spot. There's some bushes and stuff right there. So I have put some paint markings on. It's like a grassy looking bush down there. Um, around three and a half feet deep. I'm going to pull back here a little further to like find all the root intrusion. We'll get the, the whole section mapped out. But we do have root intrusions in every joint there in between that spot so far.
Now, right here at the cast iron transition, recommend re replacing the pipe from the cast iron transition out to that last root intrusion there. I believe it was around 56 feet. I'll mark here with a white T, and there's white paint in between showing the direction it runs. It's looking very shallow. It's only about two, three feet deep, so pretty easy to dig. All right, I located both ends of the uh, repair here. I pushed a little bit into the terracotta here to get a better locate signal. Uh, I've been going over the top of somebody else's locates. Um, so far, they've been they've been on. I did put a new one. So the, the repair here at 56 feet where the repair stops, um, or at least the last root intrusion there, it's about six inches from the sidewalk. I have a big white marking there, around three and a half feet deep. And I'm getting it about two feet ten inches deep right here at the transition from cast iron to clay. I recommend replacing that whole section there. I also recommend a re-scope to ensure it was done correctly. But at two or three feet deep, that's a, that's a very, very little trench to dig there as far as sewer repairs go. And apart from that, the rest of the line, although some of it is original, is, is in good condition and functioning at this time. And it, it is currently functioning properly at this time. Those roots have not gotten to the point yet where they're blocking up the sewer pipe. I'm going to go ahead and reel all the way out. 